Hello everyone, my name is Tasha and welcome to Candy Little Yams. This is my two week breastfeeding update. First of all, I don't think I mentioned in the last update that I did not use lanolin and I wasn't using lanolin and I was a little bit scared because I made that decision not to use lanolin but it's so popular and it's so popularly recommended like you, oh sorry, let me get my hand out my shirt, that you must use lanolin. Um, but I didn't and um, because I didn't because let me focus I didn't use it because it is made from like sheep's oil or something and I live a plant-based lifestyle so I didn't want to use lanolin I use coconut oil and olive oil and I'm happy to report that it soothes my sore nipples just fine and I have not had cracked nipples knock on wood or whatever thing whatever um, and I haven't seen any bleeding and she hasn't thrown up any blood or it just hasn't been that bad it's been sore but it hasn't been like the horror stories you hear and so I'm fine using the coconut oil and the olive oil and the um, shea moisture petroleum alternative ointment whatever oh that feels so good on my nipples so <laughs> if you are not so into the lanolin you do have options I'm happy to report that. Um, secondly, I have a crazy letdown now. I was looking at it's Judy's time, it's Judy's time here on YouTube, and one of the twins fell and hurt themselves, and I started to leak milk. My baby cries, I leak milk. I think about her, I leak milk. Like so much milk. It makes it hard to believe that, like, like I know people have problems with having enough milk. I know it's a real thing. But the rate at which they say people have problems, I think people just need help. I think I'm having a letdown right now just talking about breastfeeding. Look at my boobs. Like, like so much milk. Anyway. <laughs> um, so much milk all the time. I, I smell like milk all the time. The baby smells like milk all the time. If she pulls off, milk will just go it I started to use Milky's milk savers and Avant uh, milk collectors sphere things to at least put on the opposite side of which I'm nursing and that kind of collects some of it in fact I collected two ounces and I was able to freeze it because I'm not pumping so that moves me on to my next topic people have been like why don't you pump you need to pump I am the person who feeds her probably the most and I'm definitely the person who gets up and feeds her at night time so um, and no one else is willing to do that so um, I don't really see the pump the point in rushing to pump when I am going to be the person who has to clean these bottles sterilize these sterilize these bottles I'm going to have to pump and breastfeed simultaneously I'm going to have to clean these breast pump parts and sterilize them. Like it just seems like more work than it's worth. I don't know. I've collected some milk just from the uh, collector things. And I'm. I, they say, you know, it's the four milk, high milk argument. You're just getting four milk when you leak. And I don't know. But she has some milk saved up. So uh, a little bit, like five ounces at this point. But during the first two weeks, it was only two ounces. Um, so we'll see. I'm not excited about pumping. I do have a pump. I do have the things to go to the pump. I'm just not excited to start pumping. I don't plan on returning to work, you know, next week. So we'll see what happens. Um, nursing pads. I am using disposable nursing pads and I did get some bamboobies. Uh, reusable nursing pads. The only thing about the reusable nursing pads, I guess it's kind of like reusable diapers they feel wet the disposables have this stuff in them so that they uh, absorb the moisture and wick them away from you but the cloth ones they just you know absorb it and it stays there but it feels wet especially when you take it off and put it back on but maybe I shouldn't be doing that maybe I should just change them after every letdown um, but with use, I did notice with using the Milky's Milk Saver on the opposite side from which I'm nursing, it collects the milk, so they they don't get soaking, sopping wet anymore. They get a little bit of dribble on them, and that dries. So that works too. So I'm not really sopping them up anymore. They're just getting a little bit of dribble, and then it's just. Uh, <laughs> 
it dries and we're good so that's a solution to using the uh, reusable ones because I can see I leak a lot and I can't afford to keep buying these nursing pads so I need to get with the program with the milk saver collector things and with the reusable bamboo beast I'm not pumping yet she has not had a bottle just yet they say don't give them bottles or pacifiers to their four weeks I mentioned before she did have a pacifier on her emergency room trip she has not had one since then and so maybe after four weeks I will be like begging someone to feed her from a bottle who knows I don't know yet or maybe I'll be like no I'm gonna nurse her exclusively from my own tatas <laughs> who knows but that is where we're at on week two with breastfeeding it is still going well i do have enough milk she is getting bigger and bigger every day it makes me sad <laughs> but um that is what is happening and i have a special no i don't i don't have anything special <laughs> i will see you guys next week for my three week breastfeeding update bye